Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Darla Lucian of Darla Lucian Studios and we are going to go through this little chubby monkey today and uh, I call her perfectly purple. So just to get the measurements, it is six by just over nine, not even maybe nine and an eighth or something. Um, and the spine is uh, two and a half inches and the mouth is about the same about two and a half inches it is a hard cover that has been collaged over with painty book page and then um, some digital prints here a label some fabric scraps some ribbon um, this one I don't know if you can tell but these are like uh, it's a ribbon that has gems all over it and then the spine is covered in fabric it's kind of a uh, ombre effect between blues and purples and that's the back there and you can actually see the actual book here the book cover was navy blue so I wanted to just show a little bit of that so that you could see um, a peek of what it was all right so let's get in oh and I left the label here so that you can label this yourself although in my mind it's always perfectly purple all right so um, this one has quite a bit of like floral themes. It has been, um, the spine has been reinforced with uh, layers of chipboard and duct tape. And this is a decorative duct tape. So it is pretty sturdy, uh, which is good because there's, um, oh, I forgot to count how many signatures or how many uh, pages in the signature. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So, oh, 11. So 44 pages. In the first signature and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so uh, 40 pages in the second signature all right so um, inside cover has this beautiful image of lilacs and this pocket with some of this eco dyeing. I always put in a note from the bookmaker, especially if you're giving this as a gift to somebody who doesn't know much about junk journaling. It kind of explains what you can do with it. There's just some inked uh, tag and journaling card there, index card. I'm not going to pull out everything. These are puffy, puffy paint or puffy stickers. I mean, I'm not going to pull out everything because that will make this video very, very long. But suffice it to say, we have uh, different kinds of papers in here. This is construction paper that's been uh, inked, like uh, stenciled on. We have some different uh, tags and journaling cards. There's another printable. So you see, um, oh, this is on copy paper, very thin. And this is copy paper as well, which is stenciled. So some of the pages are thin, some of them are thicker. This is an envelope that just... Uh, is right in the signature. You can just pull out your journaling card from there. It's pretty. Lots of space left for writing. I mean, you can write over, write over that. So this could be a great writing journal. Um, this was from a page dyeing a tutorial that my daughter and I did, which was a super fun day. More stenciling, then a few tags and an index card that's been coffee dyed. Uh, lots of coffee dyed paper. This actually is um, has modeling paste on it and then it's been painted over top of that. And there's a sticker, a tag, a card or two there for you to, to for your for your pleasure to play with. And this one is a fun pocket. It has two pockets in the front so you can see there's a few little things tucked in there. Then inside the envelope, because this is an old envelope, is a journaling little, little piece that can come out from a book page. And then behind, I, the way I glued it on, is a pocket. And so there's a, a card back there. So even though you lose the whole surface of the page, there's lots of little bits that you can use to journal on. And here's the center of our first signature. This is bound together with kitchen twine. And you could, it's just a bow. But you could do you know whatever you want with the ends it's been triple tied before the bow was not, uh, put on there so it is going to be good and firm i love the butterflies makes me think of a napkin that one actually here we go we got another one of these pockets this one's top loading so you can see 
um, some of our fun day from the bubble painting day. We have a lot of uh, some of our fun items in here. This is just a big piece of file folder. Journaling card tucked in here. Love this. This was from a greeting card. Isn't that beautiful? From an older greeting card. So there's a few little little things tucked in. It's a double pocket there. Oops. Here's the other side of our envelope. And so it just has a Bible verse there which peeks through the window. And uh, it's collaged all over. And then we have here, we have a, a paint chip, Wisteria Bloom. Isn't that just almost the right color for this journal? And uh, a little pocket with um, some butterflies on here. And we have just a little sticker to highlight that little bobble on there. Some journaling cards here and tag. Mmm. I love the stencil. You'll see this quite frequently in here. And so there's another one of these um, pockets with the thing inside the window and then behind as well with a few little tickets in the front. I, I really like how that uh, holds so much and you get the layers, especially with the window there. And then we have a little envelope with a little bubble dyed paper inside or bubble painted. This is stenciled to look like bubbles. Um, journaling cards and different kinds of things. This one is so fun with all the, uh, I think that's a pom-pom yarn. It's just cute. Tuck that in there. I love it, as you know. Oh, this was from the corner of an envelope, so I made it into a corner pocket. So you got yourself a library card to alter there and a index card that's been made kind of as a postcard a bit with some stitching around. Here is another inked around uh, tag for writing. And then this looks like a tag, but in fact, it actually opens up and is coffee dyed paper. Lots and oh, wrong way. lots and lots of journaling space for that, which is awesome. I'll put it in this way. And this one says honesty. It's always the best policy. The center of our second signature. Look how lovely the butterflies are. Yes, I really do like butterflies. It just makes me think summer, doesn't it? So we got a couple of tags here. Um, this is a vintage button on that collage. Here is a, um, another file folder journaling card made out of a magazine page. Isn't that pretty? It was just perfect, I thought, to go with this kind of floral themed, perfectly purple journal, even though it's all whites there. And then we have a couple of, not stenciled, isn't that pretty? Um, I just tucked in this little piece of a calendar. I, I loved that, you know, has the butterflies and the little fairy girl, and I think she is perfect in this journal. Here's another piece from a birthday card, and I just slid a journaling card behind there, so you can leave it in or not as you wish. But I liked that this is like kind of a plasticky, I don't know, it's just unique. You can always come across stuff like that. There is a authentic altered uh, library card. Another, quite a few little uh, playing card ATCs in here. There's a little something tucked in there for you. Uh, oh, this is an over the top belly clip. So you can tuck extra things in there if you like. And look at how pretty this one turned out. Isn't that great for this? And it has a picture from a magazine of vintage buttons. And I just thought this lady would be the kind of lady who'd want those special buttons. And so, yeah, mail us off to Vogue. Already postage paid in British pounds. And then in the back pocket, I have included... This was the book that this was taken out of Kids Are Worth It. My kids are past the age of where I need to use this anymore. So thanks, Barbara. And now we're recycling our um, our book into art. So always uh, new incarnations are needed, right? And so I just I decided to put that in with this because you know it might make people happy to know exactly where their cover came from. 
and so it's such a nice size right it's just slightly bigger than nine and it's six this way which is pretty similar to how I make my journals normally anyway if you uh, enjoy this video please hit a like subscribe if you haven't yet um, we want to grow our family here and hit the notification bell because that way you'll get the videos right when they get uh, posted comment I'd love to hear your comments about this journal have you made something similar how uh, do you have a favorite color like do you go with a color theme because I sometimes tend to do that I I really like embracing colors and share share with other crafty people keep the inspiration rolling and also share with other people who might want to purchase this junk journal as a gift for somebody or for themselves I mean hey I'd give myself this for sure anyway um, check out my Etsy shop link down below and I thank you again for your kind attentions take care everyone we'll just catch you in the next video